Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about capital staining. Before going to capital staining, let us first discuss what is a capsule. A capsule is a layer that is found outside the cell envelope. So, in a bacteria outside the cell envelope is the capsule. So, this capsule is made up of polysaccharides. And to identify this capsule layer, we does the capsule staining. And capsule staining is a differential staining technique and uses an acidic as well as basic stains. And these stains are used for staining the background as well as the bacterial cells. So acidic stain is used for staining the background and the basic stain is used for staining the bacterial cells. This diagram shows a bacterial cell. A bacterial cell has a polysaccharide layer that stains outside the cell envelope, and this layer is called capsule. And to identify this layer, we does the capsule staining. These capsules have been synthesized in the cytoplasm, and from the cytoplasm, it goes out and surrounds a bacteria. So, as told earlier, these capsules are generally made up of polysaccharides. But in some capsulated bacteria, these capsules are made up of polypeptides or glycoproteins. Now, let us discuss the principle of capsule staining. A bacterial capsule is not ionic, that is, Either the acidic nor the basic will adhere to their surface. So the best way to visualize a capsule is by staining the background as well as the bacterial cell. So the background is stained with an acidic stain and the first bacterial cell is stained with a basic stain. So the background stained with acidic stain can be negrosin, Congo red, etc. Whereas the basic stain used to stain the bacterial cell is crystal violet, saffron, methylene blue, etc. This diagram would help you understand how a capsule looks under a microscope. So, a background is present and this background will be stained and a bacteria too will be stained. So, a colorless capsule would be easily identified. Now, we will discuss about antigen stain. So, in this method, we use a primary stain and this primary stain is crystal violet. So what does this crystal violet do? It goes and stains the cell. It gives the cell a purple color. In this method, there is no modern use. So a primary stain step is over and next is the decolorizing step. So 
In this method, a decolorizing as well as a counter stain is a single solution. That is, a single solution can function as a counter stain as well as a decolorizing agent. So, it performs a dual function and this solution is coposulfate solution. That is 20% of coposulfate solution. So, what it does is that it decolorizes the capsule and it counterstains the capsule with a faint blue color. So, now the capsule is blue in color, that is a faint blue in color, whereas the bacterial cell is purple in color. So, now we will discuss the materials and reagents required for capsule staining. First of all, we require a test bacteria that is a 36 to 48 hours culture. So this culture of capsulated bacteria, for example, if we are taking a clepsilin pneumonia, we grow it in a slant of EMB agar. So uh, if an alternative method we take is that we grow a clepsilin in milk based media. That is, in growing these clubcilla pneumonia in milk-based media, we can increase the capsule size. So, it is easier to visualize. So, an alternative method is usually done. That is, we grow it in milk-based media. The solutions, that is the stains that we use for the capsule staining depends upon the method we choose. The stains are crystal violet, India ink, negrosin, copper sulfate, basic carbon fusion stain, methylene blue, etc. Apart from solution, we also require the slides, the inoculating loop, microscope with 100x objective lens, that is the oil immersion, an immersion oil, a gas burner, and a tissue paper. So now we will discuss the capsule stain procedure. First, we will discuss about the India ink method. And in this method, we take a single drop of India ink on a clean microscope slide. By using a flame loop, we remove some clepsilin pneumonia from the sand or the plate and mix it with the India ink. Allow the film to air dry. And this may take 5 to 7 minutes. And after this, allow the slide to flood with crystal violet. And keep it for 1 minute. After it, rinse gently. Now, let the slide dry for few minutes. And after it, observe the slide under a oil immersion. Now, let us discuss the result of the India ink method. The bacteria appear purple in color and this is due to the crystal violet. Whereas the background takes up the color of India ink, that is the background appears dark in color. The capsule appears colorless and hence the capsule can be easily differentiated from the background and the colored bacteria. This is a microscopic view of India ink preparation and this shows that the capsule is transparent whereas the bacterial cell is purple in color and the background is bluish in color. So the bacterial cell is purple, the background is bluish. So the, the capsule can be easily identified since it is colorless. Now we will discuss the next method of capsule staining which is the Antony's staining method. And in this method a clean slide is being taken and to the clean slide a drop of crystal violet is added. Using a flame loop and sterile techniques Take a loop full of bacteria, that is Clepsilin pneumonia for example. And this is spread over the stain. That is, the stain is mixed with the bacterium. 
allow your film to air dry and this may take 5 to 7 minutes after which allow the slide to rinse with 20% of copper sulfate solution and do not rinse with water since water may remove the capsule let the slide air dry and do not blow the slide after the slide is air dried observe the slide under a oil immersion now let us discuss the result the bacterial cell is purple in color whereas the capsule is halo that is a faint blue color halo and the background is transparent so the background is transparent the capsule is faint blue and the bacterial cell is purple in color so this is the microscopic view of Anthony's capsule stain that is preparation showing the purple bacterial cell and the light blue capsule so the capsule is light blue and the bacterial cell is purple the background is transparent here so the capsule staining the positive results are shown by Klebsiella pneumonia, Cryptococcus pneumonia, etc., where the negative results are shown by Neisseria goronia. Hope you understood the concept of capsule staining. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, please like as well as share with your friends.